This is an Eye of Raw tech spot. One of the things that you can do to optimize the performance of your computer, especially when starting up, it'll get you up and running a lot quicker, and it's a good practice to get into, is to disable startup processes or programs that you really don't need. What you're going to do is press Control, Alt, and Delete. This blue screen is going to pop up. You click Task Manager. When your Task Manager screen pops up, go over up here on this, these buttons and go to Startup. Click it and look at all the processes that the computer must go through in order for it to start. See all this stuff here takes up time. It takes up time for the computer to initialize all this. So if you want to get up and running a lot quicker, what you're going to do is disable programs that you don't necessarily use right off the bat when you uh, when you start your when you boot up your computer. For instance, I don't need Amersoft Studio, so let's disable that. I don't need this plugin. A lot of this stuff is enabled just because that's the way that the manufacturers or the coders of the program have designed it so that it can be used right away so that it's one of the things that you notice when you turn on your computer. It's just an advertising gimmick. If you really don't need the program or the process, disable it. You can enable it at your leisure when you need it. Now, what I don't do is mess with things that I'm not sure of. Modules and things like that, you want to look those things up before you disable them. Anything that has to do with Intel or Microsoft, I usually keep enabled because it can interfere with your processor or other functions that the computer needs to, uh, to operate properly. I'm going to disable Java Update. I, if I want to enable that later, I can. I'm going to disable malware bytes. If you saw, I had a little window pop up over there and that, that was for an update. So I'm going to disable that because I don't want all this stuff popping up. Um, I'm going to disable OneDrive. If I need it, I'll enable it later. I'll leave the Intel Corporation stuff alone. Those are utilities that I think help the computer to run. You don't want to disable anything that you need. And as you can see, the impact on startup is not even high. It's low. Especially for impact uh, processes or programs that have a high impact on your startup, they take up a lot of time. Product updater, I'm going to disable. If a product needs updating, I'll do it manually. I don't even know what these programs are. I'm going to go ahead and disable them. It just says program. I don't even know what those are. Let's disable that. The QB controller has something to do and I'm, I remember what I looked it up for but I don't need it I had it disabled before so I'm going to go ahead and disable it, it doesn't interfere with how my computer functions Skype I don't use uh, right away if I need it I'll enable it manually Windows Defender I don't need I have McAfee another antivirus software program so I don't even use Windows Defender um, this is a program, a, a video program I don't need. If I need it, I'll enable it. And this is a cloud storage program that if I need, I will disable, uh, enable manually. And there, that will save a lot of time and take up a lot of pressure off your, off your uh, resources when you start up your computer. And so that's one of the ways and a good practice to get into to help optimize your startup time so that you can get into the internet and start browsing a lot quicker. The second thing that you can do to optimize performance on your PC is to clear your cache and browsing history. Go over to these three buttons here, press them, then go down to history, slide over and click the word history. When this screen pops up, go down to clear browsing data and another tab will open up and you'll see that here's the box where you get to handle your business. You can either do it from the beginning of all time, which is what I do, or you can choose out of these other four options, the past hour, the past day, the past week, or the last four weeks. Like I said, I'll always do it from the beginning of time. You can also clear your passwords and autofill form data, but I like to keep those things handy so that I can get back on to my normal sites and my social media sites a lot faster. So I'm going to clear my browsing history, things I've downloaded, 
that are, are that are stored in history my cached images and files cookies and other site data that track what i'm doing online data that's hosted from different apps and licenses that i may have acquired while using certain apps on certain web pages so let's just go ahead and click clear browsing data and depending on how long ago you've done that it could take a while but i keep mine clear pretty often so it didn't take much time and that's it that's how you do that right there The third method that we're going to discuss is called a disk cleanup. And what I'm going to show you right now is going to be a very quick tutorial for a disk cleanup. In a later episode, I will show you a more thorough disk cleanup. And it's a very useful tool as to how to get temporary files and programs that you really don't use cleaned out of your system so it's not hogging up resources on your C drive. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go down to our search engine, our search bar down here and type in disk cleanup. Actually, you just put disk and it'll pop up. Double click it. It's going to determine how much space you can save. But since I've already done disk cleanup, I keep my computer optimized. Mine isn't really cluttered. So I can use this as you can see to, to, clean, to clear up 51.3 megabytes of disk space. So what I'm going to do is go down and click all the things that I don't think I want want anymore in my temporary file files. And I'm just going to click them all even though there's nothing in a lot of them. And just go ahead and hit OK. And it's going to ask you, are you sure you permanently want to delete them? Go ahead and click Delete Files. And then it's going to clean up the unnecessary files on your C drive. As you can see, Windows has already determined that these files are unnecessary. So anything that you delete is not going to harm anything. It's just freeing up space on your computer. And like I said in a later episode, I am going to show you how to do a more thorough disk cleanup. And, and it's going to create a lot more room in your, in your PC. And, and you'll, have, you'll have the space to do things that you want to do that you may not be able to do because you have unnecessary programs and files just taking up room in your in, 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 in your computer it's sort of like just having a closet full of old clothes that you need to give away this has been an eye of raw tech spot and thanks for watching have a great day